I'm very pleased to extend you a warm welcome to El Centro and of course to the Library and Archives. We're really pleased to have you here and also have an opportunity and have an opportunity to meet you all, converse with you face to face, um, know a little bit about yourself, uh, why you're here, why would you like to come back, and so we can improve our services. Uh, today we're very honored to have Maria Dominguez exhibition. Um, Donde esta? If these walls could speak. Um, I would like to say a little, a little words about Maria. Uh, I met Maria last year. Uh, she's a very warm, generous, a humble artist, uh, and she's a beautiful person. I'm, I'm persona encantadora. Uh, she has exhibited in very various places in the USA, including Europe, Japan, and Africa. That I didn't know. Dominguez's career as a public art making, private commissions, and community murals have gained her the respect of her contemporaries and professionals and colleagues. She has also been the recipient of generous uh, and prestigious grants, such as the National Endowment for the Arts, the New York Foundation for the Arts, and she has also garnered nominations to the prestigious Joan Mitchell Foundation Award. Currently, Dominguez is a teaching artist with young audiences in, of New York and with City Lord, uh, two very important organizations in New York City dealing with schools and education. Uh, she has also has worked with the Solomon Guggenheim Museum, and also she was seven years the education department uh, coordinator for the Museo del Barrio. Before we present Maria, I would like you to meet Raquel Ortiz Rodriguez, because Raquel was the one who introduced me to Maria Dominguez. So somebody from Lorraine, Ohio, had to come to Centro through email, through a proposal she sent to us, and that's how I met Maria Dominguez, who lives now in Brooklyn. And it's very interesting. Uh, Raquel, is, as a social anthropologist, graduated from the University of Salamanca in Spain, and she also studied in Puerto Rico in the Center for Advanced Studies. And also she holds a, a bachelor's degree from Ohio State University at Columbus, where she majored in international studies. But she also uh, uh, worked and studied abroad at La Fundación Ortega y Gasset in Tolado, Spain. And her uh, doctoral dissertation is called El Arte de la Identidad, or the Art of Identity. So last year, Raquel submitted a proposal through the Historical Preservation and Research Partnership at Centro. And we were very eager to support her initiative about bringing Maria Dominguez uh, work that you see here and let other audiences like in Lorraine, Ohio and Cleveland know about Maria. So we were very adamant to, to, to support her, her, her project. And uh, Raquel is a very interesting uh, Renaissance woman and uh, she has a, a whole slew of activities surrounding this exhibition. She contacted the small businesses, the Latino community, the college, the museum. So she did a whole, she took advantage of an uh, uh, annual conference that was being held in Lorraine and she brought Maria. We were able to, Maria was able to go and meet with her. I couldn't make it. But uh, they did present uh, something similar to what we hear, but they have workshops and Maria talked to the students at uh, different levels and they present Maria's work. Um, Raquel also, um, for some reason, I was communicating with her and then suddenly I found out that she's now a faculty member here at Boricua College. So Raquel, welcome. Good evening. First, I'd like to thank all my wonderful Boricua College students that joined me. I have at least 10 here, and it's wonderful, wonderful to have all these young, wonderful students here. And just to let you know that I'm really enjoying my time at Boricua. It's a beautiful experience. Um, and speaking of beautiful experiences, I was about the same age as some of my students when I met Maria. I was at El Museo de Barrio a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> a long time ago and I, I started working in the education department and I started to get to know Maria a wonderful person as well as a wonderful artist that she was and is and I started to learn a little bit more about public murals and when I left I left New York for Chicago and I told Maria that I would continue working with her and I kept my word and through a master's in, in Puerto Rico I started working a little bit on some of the public art that she was doing and then when I moved to Salamanca, Spain, 
I let her know that this was the work that I wanted to continue on with. So about 5,000 miles of distance, we communicated through phone and through email, and I did a project as well in Salamanca, Spain with her. Um, I came back to the United States in 2006 and spent the next two years finishing the dissertation. It was a lot easier to communicate with Maria and to come to Hunter and research about Maria and also about the Puerto Rican community from Ohio. So the commuting back and forth, it's doable when you have things like Spain to compare it to. So um, I finished the dissertation two years ago and defended it in, in, San, in Salamanca. And after that, we decided that we didn't want it just to be a dusty book on a shelf. And actually it won't because it's going to be published through the University of Granada. So we already have that wonderful um, venue of being able to reach people in Spain with what we're doing here in New York. Um, I found out about the wonderful opportunity to do something with Hunter College. It seemed very adequate. This is a space that helped me so much with my research. This is a space that Maria had exhibited in about 10 years ago as the first artist to be here and to show her artwork. So we wrote the proposal, but I wanted my community to know what I had been doing with my life for the last 10 years. So, and the Puerto Ricans in Lorraine are a bit marginalized, to say it nicely, and we, we don't get to see the artwork and the culture and the literature that some of you have all the time. So honestly, Maria was, op was welcomed with open arms. We had a wonderful time. We did things with the college students. I also helped um, a high school um, class work on a, a children's book on public art. And we did a number of things. And it was a really, really wonderful opportunity. So with that, I just want to welcome Maria and let everyone know that it's been such an honor and such a wonderful experience. It's been about 10 years. We're hoping for another 10, 20, 30. We have a children's book up our sleeve. We have a couple more exhibits, a big book, a big show, <laughs> maybe a movie, <laughs> and a lot of dreams. So I'm happy everyone is here with us to celebrate with us, to enjoy with us, to, to join the ride with us, and to help us share because there are so many wonderful artists doing wonderful community art, and that needs to be documented and that needs to be celebrated. So thank you all so much, and Maria Dominguez. Well, first of all, I want to thank all of you for coming here and being with me today and supporting me. Um, about 26 years ago, as an intern, little did I know that mural making was going to become such a big part of my life. Um, it's a way that I make my means. I, I go into the school system and I teach children mural making skills. It's a way of um, bringing community together. It's a way um, that I found my voice through public art. And uh, it's, a, it's a big part of my life. Uh, it also did help me connect with young people. Um, just yesterday, uh, a young man who is doing a workshops to assist inner city kids do their portfolio so they could go into colleges and schools, um, I said, congratulations. I didn't know you were doing something so fabulous. And he wrote back and he said, um, a great part of this has to do with you because you were my earliest inspiration and you gave me confidence and now I'm teaching all these kids how to get into school through art. So my goals have been met, okay? I went in with a, a feeling to unite youth, to bring them together, and now this kid, is, well not a kid, he's a father of two now, he, he's doing it to various other groups. So the seed was in and it kept going. Uh, the other seed was Raquel, who her story was, yeah, how come nobody's writing about you? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Somebody should write about me. And she says, well, you know, I'm going to go get my PhD. When I do, I'm going to come back and I'm going to start writing about you. And it isn't 10 years, it's about 15 years. <laughs> And, and a, a, oh, she doesn't want me to tell her age. Well, we're about the same age. <laughs> um, and we continued the partnership, and, and she made me go into my flat files and dig up all the maquettes. 
and then after the maquettes, I had to dig up the photos. Then after the photos, I had to uh, dig up photos uh, from my friend Marlies Mamba, who, who, who documented this whole area. So this is not just a maquette. This is not just a mural. This is about a time and a place. And it's about a people. And, and her, her title, her working title, that these walls could speak, speak louder than I or the work itself. I mean, people were there. My girlfriend Esperanza was there. She's a fabulous artist, and she remembers. Remember, there was nobody living in these places. These buildings were barren, and drugs were infested. Rafael knows that. My other friend Maria's here. They were there when we were painting and doing art and culture for a people that we were going to lose, especially the youth with the drugs. So. Maybe this will grow. Maybe uh, we'll find other sponsors. I dream of having a book so we could tell the real story of a place and a time. Thank you for coming. Thank you to El Centro for believing. And gracias. <laughs>